Coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division encounter. So here he is at long last making his UFC debut. You hear so much about those famed octagon jitters and nerves. It's something he's gonna have to bottle here tonight. These lights are bright. He doesn't look wide-eyed making the walk here, but there might be an adrenaline dump if you do too much too soon. Nonetheless, the bigger story, this man finally has arrived at his UFC debut. All right, so another big spot for this high-level wrestler here tonight, and the opposition knows what's coming, but more often than not in the UFC, they've been unable to stop. It's because since a little boy, he spent his life on the wrestling mat. And even though you start to prepare for it late, you cannot match his ability to train, his ability to focus, the idea that once he gets a hold of you, it only ends with him in top position. It does not matter if he has to get a high crotch. It does not matter if he needs to get a single leg or a double leg. The purpose is to get you to the floor, and he has been trained his entire life to do just that. Yeah, he put it well. He's got a lot of throws and takedowns and trips in his arsenal, and he'll try to put them to good use in this matchup here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. More than five years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, making his UFC debut here tonight. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 191 pounds. Iceman! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a wrestler holding a professional record of 17 wins, 11 losses. He stands six feet five inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, the Gambler. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? All right, so here we go with round one. This is his UFC debut. So you know what he did on the regional circuit, ran rough shot through a lot of the guys in his division. Now the question beckons. Oh! Oh, diving punch lands. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. Back to his feet. Nice stick with the right hand. Throw. Let's see if he can capitalize and lock up a sub. You gotta try to find whether or not you're gonna land. Ron and Paul here or if you're gonna go to submission. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. And he's back up. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Both fighters get up now. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount, and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. The reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of... Oh! Ooh, diving punch lands. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Every time he's... That'll do it! And that's gonna do it! Yeah, man, 
crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Oh, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata calls a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 58 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Iceman! Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.